All right, um, so now I'll be responding to Jessica's claim that same-sex marriages have little effect on childhood development. Her three secondary claims were that same-sex couples make fit parents, having two parents creates a stable environment for children, and that same-sex marriages will have a little effect on a child's sexuality. Um, her first secondary claim that same-sex couples uh, make fit parents is almost a fallacy in itself because it seems to assume that all same-sex couples make fit parents, which is an assumption you can't really make because, of course, every person's different, and there's no way you could possibly prove that everyone in an entire group is going to do something a certain way. Um, she also, the first thing she states in after um, presenting that claim was a case uh, in the Virginia uh, Supreme Court titled Bottoms vs. Bottoms, which in which uh, a woman named Sher Sharon Bottoms was deemed an unfit parent um, because of her homosexuality. And in that case, what happened was her, her mom sued for custody of her child because she felt her lesbianism um, was negatively affecting the child, and it was ruled in the mother's favor. And uh, the presiding justice on that case, Justice A. Christian Compton, um, quoted or stated that uh, any homosexual parent is an unavoidable social burden and mental burden upon the child. Um, in her argument, by stating this, uh, by even bringing up this case, it's kind of detracting from her own argument. Uh, it's, it would support a uh, secondary, or I'm, uh, an alternate claim uh, saying that same-sex parents do not make fit parents because the, uh, the justice, the court case was ruled in the favor of that claim and it was even quoted that they are an unavoidable burden upon the child. Um, also, she stated after she didn't seem to counteract that uh, evidence at all. She just kind of stated it and then moved on to saying that parents should only be deemed unfit if the actions they take harm the child, which, might I say, would be true. But it does nothing to prove that same-sex parents make fit same-sex couples make fit parents. It just says something that we all probably know, that the actions you take are going to say what your character is. Um, her secondary claim, having two parents creates a stable environment for children. Um, the evidence she uses in this claim is all really um, assumed. There's no really cited evidence. It's all things like people say this and people say that. Um, for instance, one thing she said was that people say marriage creates a more stable environment. She doesn't offer any proof as to who says this, it's just assumed. Um, and her reasoning behind that says that if this is true for heterosexual couples, then it's true for homosexual couples. But you can't really make that jump. It's kind of like saying that if apples taste good, then carrots must taste good too. Um, she also has a subclaim that the childhood development isn't different if you're in a same-sex situation. And her evidence is that same-sex parents are teaching the same morals and values, but she doesn't offer any evidence showing that that's true. You can't really just say that all same-sex couples are teaching good morals and values. You, like, on an individual level, like she said earlier, that you have to be judged in the case, like each case has to be judged individually. You're, if you're a fit parent, it's dependent on your actions, not on your sexuality. So you can't just say that same-sex parents are teaching good morals and values. There's no way of ever knowing that. It doesn't prove anything. Um, her third secondary claim was that same-sex marriages will have little effect on children's sexuality. And after stating that, she goes on to cite um, a study by Paul Cameron, who's the chairman of the Family Research Institute of Colorado Springs, which said that um, in analyzing um, children from same-sex parents, uh, that 30% of them identified themselves as homosexual as opposed to the 1 to 2% that I, in the normal population that would identify themselves as homosexual, which shows that same-sex, that, which really supports this counterclaim that same-sex marriages have a large effect on children's sexuality because if a study is showing that if you're raised in a homosexual couple situation um, that you're seven to eight times greater or seven to eight times more likely to end up being homosexual yourself, that's obviously a huge impact. If it jumps from one to two percent to thirty percent, that seems to be kind of a big impact to me. I think you would all agree. 
Um, also, a separate case that I researched um, that was or a second study by Trace Hansen, who's a PhD. Um, upon analyzing eight different surveys in that same subject, found that it also correlates to the seven to eight percent, um, or seven to eight times greater, in, uh, the seven to eight per, nah, the seven, seven to eight times greater homosexual identification. So that's nine different uh, surveys that all point to the fact that if you have homosexual parents, you're more likely to become a homosexual yourself. Um, that's my argument. So, in conclusion, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. <laughs>